Hi everyone, welcome back to GPhysio Pilates. I'm Gabby and today I'm going to show you some exercises if you're suffering with sensitive knees. Let's get started. I'm going to get you at first just to lay on your back. Now, if you've got a small ball, grab it. If you don't, don't worry, you can do these exercises without it or just grab a small little pillow. But you're just going to lay down. Your knees are just going to go hip width apart in your neutral Pilates position. This is when you grab a ball and I want you to place it underneath your heel. But make sure that your heel is comfortable, of course, that your knees are hip width apart. Keep that core engaged, take a deep breath in and I want you just to slide and straighten your leg. As you straighten it, I want you to bring your toes up towards you and then bring it back. We're going to do 10 on the left today and 10 on the right. But this is a great exercise because we're just helping your knee to move. Now, if you didn't have a ball, you can always do this on the ground. You're just sliding it away, toes towards you, and then point your toes to bring it back up. It's a very nice and gentle exercise that you're using your, your muscles of your thighs, your hamstrings, to get your legs moving. Now, if you've got sensitive knees, first thing we've got to do is move them to lubricate the joint. Now with the ball, it does make it a little bit easier because it just helps you move. Now once we've got our tampons now happening on the left leg, we're going to go to the right leg. So you're just going to bring your left leg back where it was. And if you've got ball, please use it. We're going to just slide it away. You can use a football or basketball, whatever you've got at home. So we're just bending and straightening. Nice and controlled, not, not too fast, just go your own tempo. It's no competition with us. But it's just a nice way just to wake up the muscles and get everything loosening up and at the same time firing them up to get them stronger. Just got three more. I do sometimes count wrong, so if I do, tell me off. <laughs> We're just breathing in, breathing out. And if you feel like your ball's going a bit far away, just bring it back. You've got all the time in the world when you're doing exercise. Last one. Great. Now, if you've got a pillow or ball, we're going to place it underneath your knee. You're going to relax your heel at the same time. My right leg's bent, controlling the core. Relax the hands. And we're just going to push the knee into the ball. At the same time, bring your toes up towards you. This is going to activate our thigh, our quads. You're going to hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Just off a few seconds. Then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to push that ball into the knees of the ball for five, four, three, two, one. Great. Make sure when you're doing this that the toes do come up towards you. Let's do it again. Third time round. So pushing the knee down, toes towards you for five, four, three, two, one, relax. Good. Now we're going to place the ball underneath the right leg. Oops. <laughs> Make sure you do get the underneath the knee, not the thigh. And we're just breathing in, pushing that knee, toes up towards you for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now again, so I want to have it underneath me. I'm just going to put a little bit more underneath. Felt like it was a, bit, a little bit too high. So we're going to do it again. I'm going to push that knee down, toes up for five, four, three, two, one. Relax. We're going to do our last set. So we've done three sets of five seconds. So we're going to push that knee down, toes up for five, four, three, Two, one, have a breather. This is when the ball's going to go to our side here. And I want you to go onto your side. Now, when you're on your side, I'm going to give you two options. You can either have your bottom hand straight with your head resting on your arm with a pillow if you need to be. Or, we're going to make it a little bit hard for you guys today, we're going to have your left elbow underneath your shoulder. Keep the spine straight in either level. We're going to have the bottom leg bent. So imagine if you were um, 
you know, bending both knees, we're going to have the bottom leg bent and then the top leg straight. Make sure the bum isn't backwards. If you do that, you're just going to hurt yourself. You're going to hurt your back. Who, who wants the back pain? So keep everything engaged, core engaged. You're going to have your top hand right in front of the tummy. So where your belly button is, you're just going to put it in front of it. All you're going to do is bring your leg up into hip line and bring it down. This is a great one for knees because you're not putting any pressure onto it. It's also nice if you had any hip ache to go into this position because it puts less pressure on your bony bits. We're just breathing in, breathing out. As you come up, keep those hips aligned. Don't bring the bum back. You can see if I do that, that you're not getting any of the muscles we want to get stronger. We're just going for our lovely tens. We're making sure that we're taking our time, not to bust you it fast, you're just gonna use momentum and you're not gonna use the muscles correctly. We've got three more, two, last one, we're gonna hold it up there now, holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then you're gonna just tap the mat on the side and then behind you. Keeping the spine nice and straight, so I don't want you moving your hips. We're going for 10 lovely taps. So we've got uh, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Holding it, we're going to grab a ball now. So here you can grab a ball or a pillow. You're going to place it behind the knee so you're using the ball for that knee. And always squeeze. That's already getting your hamstrings involved. And we just tap the ground and bring it back up. Tapping, bring it back up. Nice and controlled, working it, getting the bum muscles involved, but don't lose your ball or your pillow. So we're squeezing hard, doing 10 up and downs. We've got three more, two, last one, hold it up. And now we just bring it forward and back. And I can feel my hamstrings working. Can't feel your hamstrings when you're not pulling that ball hard enough. Now again, if you find your knee is a bit sensitive to this, you can do it without a ball. Just do what you can. We're doing 10 times going forward and back. Nice and controlled. Make sure we're breathing. We're doing three, two, last one. Brilliant. Taking the ball out. You need to give your legs a shake. Do, do so. I always tell my clients, if you shake your legs, get the blood circulating back there. We've got to do the other side. So, choose whatever level you want for the arm. So either your arm's straight or 90 degrees. We're going to relax the, the bottom legs. We're bending it. Spine nice and straight. Can you tell I was a bit more back there? So I want nice and straight spines of yours. Do you make sure it is underneath your shoulder as well. Top leg straight. And I'm going to have the toes pointing away from me. Top hand, where the belly button is, forearm on it, onto the ground. We're just going to start by just bringing it up and down. Keep the hips aligned, don't lean back. Everybody wants to lean back. They're safety nets. But we're going to keep the hips aligned, leg going to hip height. And it's just a nice way just to work the muscle groups. We're going to do 10 reps only. Being nice to you guys today. <laughs> So we've got three more, two, last one, holding it up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Do the semi so you're just tapping the end of your mat, uh, sorry, forward, forward and behind you for 10 lovely taps. So on four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep it up. We're going to grab the ball. Always have it close by when you're doing this. Or a pillow. You're going to squeeze. Squeeze that pillow really hard. And we're just tapping down for ten lovely tapping down. Good. For two, three, four. Make sure you're breathing. Get the oxygen into those muscle groups. Don't do it fast either. Got three more guys. So three, two, 
One, keep it up, keep squeezing it. I want you to use your hamstrings. Keep the spine straight, don't bring the bum up. So bring those hips forwards. And we're gonna bring the leg forward and back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, great. Bring the leg down, ball away. Arms and legs in a nice little shake. Get all the blood circulating. Now, try doing these exercises if you're suffering with knees, okay? You can do these three or four times a week, but I promise you, it will start to get your muscles stronger. If you do suffer with really bad knees and these are too hard for you, please see a medical professional. But this was Gabby. Hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe to Jika's Classes YouTube channel for more interesting videos. Have a lovely day and enjoy your week.